Hi Techie guys, I'm Nand Kishore Swami and today we would be learning about deploying a Pega Robotics solution or a bot. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, there are various ways to deploy a project uh, on the target machine or on a bot machine. Uh, so let's go ahead and first create a project. So we'll discuss about these uh, various methods one by one. So I'm going to create first a uh, sample project. And then just trigger your project on the project start. and terminate your project once it is completed the process. So our process is pretty much simple. We will be just displaying a message box and that's it. So just add a message box. And I'm going to just uh, connect the process and the message box would be uh, robotic project deployment. So that's it. So this is a pretty much simple project and we are going to deploy it in uh, various ways. So the ways we are going to use is one uh, for deployment from um, uh, Robot Manager. Another one is uh, loading the project manually and the third one is using a bat file. So to deploy a project, you can simply go ahead and just click on this uh, little button here. It's for deploy the project. Or you can go to the project and deploy project. So if you are using a robot manager or you want to deploy it uh, using the robot manager, then this uh, uh, button uh, down here would be available and you just need to uh, click on this checkbox. So this project would be deployed on the robot manager and how you can deploy a project on the target machine using robot manager that you can check my another video which is part 19 open span packer robotic deploy rpa bot using robot manager and packet server so this is how you can uh, process or go through the entire process to deploying a project from a robot manager so here we are going to just use the local deployment uh, through manually loading a project and a bat file and using a bat file so just uh, choose or uh, choose a folder where we want to deploy it by default of this location is the project and then bin and debug folder so i'm going to change it to another folder which is on my desktop and i'm going to choose it to deploy folder and click on ok so it should create a deployment file one is manifest another one is dot open span file so similarly there is nothing much change if you click on that uh, down uh, a little checkbox to deploy it on uh, project or packet server or on robot manager. So at the same time deployment will also happen on the robot manager or packet server. So the local deployment is succeeded. Click on OK. Now you can close your uh, studio. You don't really need it. And if you locate uh, that deployment folder where you have deployed these files there are two files available one is open span and another one is manifest so basically we would need open span file to run the bot so now uh, go to the machine where you want to deploy this project and run the runtime this runtime is available on both uh, studio and uh, with the standalone runtime so i do not have a standalone but i have a studio so with the studio, we get uh, uh, the open span runtime file as a by default. So I'm going to locate that. It should be open span 
dot runtime dot txt. So there we go. So this is the runtime file. You can just double click it. It should be running here in a while. Yep. And now to load this or run it, uh, just right click on this little icon and choose load local project. Select that option and browse to the this open span file which is on my desktop deploy and this one click on open it should load the project and should start in a while so this is the message box that we have added so our project is running perfectly fine so this is another way you can deploy it manually and the runtime is terminated now the second way you can create a bat file or just open up your notepad type start s t a r t and then enter the complete path of exe so this is the complete path of exe i'm going to right click and copy it as a path now paste the complete path and it should be without double quote then at the end of this uh, exe give a space and type project equal let me have it wrap text so project equal now we need the dot open span file path the one that we want to load it right click copy as path paste it so we are pretty much done let's save it and save it as dot bat file so go to your uh, folder where you want to save it choose it all file mm, pega dot B A T. So you can name it anything, but it should be having the B A T extension. Now click on save. You can close it and go ahead and just double click it. Okay, no problem. <clears throat> Again, go to edit your file. We can do it the way. Uh, since there are uh, spaces in between the path, so we'll be using change directory command, change the directory to this path, and then in that directory, We'll start this exe and load this project. So just save it, then run it now. Yep, there we go. So it's loading, and there we go. The project is loaded and running it. So this is how you can create a bat file and just double click on it and it will load your projects. So this is another way you can deploy it. So, uh, so far we learned about deploying it uh, from Robot Manager, deploying it uh, manually, and deploying it using the bat file. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Have a great day.